This is Freddie News Review, the podcast. And now, America's independent voice, Rob Rob Ready. Jet Magazine printed its final issue, and I want to bring on Mitzi Miller, who is the editor in chief of Jet Magazine, to talk about this. Mitzi, welcome to the program. I'm happy to be here. Tell me about this final print issue. The end of an era and the beginning of a new adventure. This is the final regularly printed issue of Jet. So it is the last time you'll see it like with a regular frequency on your newsstand or receive it as a subscriber regularly in print. But they will be doing special print issues as things and occasions arise. It's been a long, positive run, but it's truly the fulfillment of Mr. Johnson's wish for Jet. His vision was that Jet would be able to stay on top of breaking news. And realistically, print is no longer able to stay on top of breaking news. It's not that, that, it's not that medium. It's still a wonderful record keeper, which is what Ebony does. It records our, it will now record our lifestyle and how we're living and big picture, large chunk snaps. But what Mr. Johnson envisioned for Jet was for it to be fast, quick, to the point, and on top of things. And the best way for us to deliver that now is through the digital space. So this had been the works for how long? Well, I can't tell you all my secrets. I can't tell you how long it's all been in the works. <laughs> Come on now. A lady <laughs> never tells you everything. Oh, that's true. Just know that the final product is worth picking up. It's definitely a keepsake. We worked really hard on it. I'm really proud of what my team was able to accomplish. Um, I think we put together a really great kind of reflective look on all of the things that Jet has covered, all of the major things that Jet has covered. Who made the decision? J.P. Morgan being on the board now, is this is this a bank decision or is this an actual a management decision? This is a Linda Johnson Rice decision. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Linda Johnson Rice owns this company, the majority of the shares in this company, and this is her father's company, and she is carrying on and handling his legacy. You know, I'm really proud to work with, for her, to work with Desiree Rogers and Cheryl McKissick. Um, but at the end of the day, the person that pulled the switch and, and made the decision and makes all the decisions. Jed is known as Bible for the Black Community. Mm-hmm. It's known as uh, For Us, About Us. That was the slogan for Jet Magazine. But you go through painstakingly the news. You go everywhere from Fannie Lou Hamer and her speech that was, Truncated by the a former president. President Johnson. Exactly. You talk about Adam Clayton Powell, the Black Power Movement, the Birmingham Church explosion. I'm literally flipping through here. You go through the whistleblowers, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr. And then you have a letter from President Obama. Well, obviously, um, we, it wouldn't have been complete without a word from our first black president. So we reached out, and President Obama and the, the first lady were kind enough to send us a note about what JET meant to them, their family, and wish us success in this time of transition. Then you have the story about how JET Magazine came to fruition. And spend some time telling us a little bit about what people are going to learn there. I think, you know, the purpose of the story, the cover story, which is entitled This Is Our Story, was really to remind people how important Jet was, what role it played in black media, how everything really spawned from Mr. Johnson and his publications. There wouldn't be a vibe. There wouldn't be an essence if there wasn't a John Johnson, if there wasn't a Jet, if there wasn't a Tan, if there wasn't an Ebony. And so this is basically just kind of retelling his story, not from how he started, but his, seeing how his vision moved media and has moved us forward and kept us all united and kept us communicating and kept us, you know, up to date on what was happening with our stories, no matter where we were. You you also then go on to talk about entertainment, and you go through all of the entertainers just about, the big noteworthies, and then you go on to talk about love, and you include in there same-sex marriages as well. Tell us about those decisions. Well, there wasn't, you know, it wasn't, in terms of the love section, you couldn't, 
omit it. I mean, it's part of our history. No matter where you fall in terms of your stance on gay marriage and gay relationships, this is part of what we're living now. And our goal with this issue was for it to be a true record of what we've done and what we've covered. And we've certainly covered same-sex unions in, in the love section. So are you concerned at all that you're going to lose going to online, going to apps, lose my 73-year-old father? You know, there's always risk in of loss and change. But our hope and our intention is to not lose anyone. But you, without change, there's no progress, and that's the thing. If Mr. Johnson was here, this is what he would want. He wouldn't want to fall behind the curve. He would want to be in front of it. So if your 73-year-old father loves Jet, he's going to join us in the new part of the journey. If you love Jet, you're not going to stop wanting what it delivered because it's not coming in a print form. If you believe in this brand and you think that it's important that we continue to have honest, fair, and balanced reflections of what's happening in our community, you're going to continue to support the online the online venture. And it's an app. It looks just, it's going to be great. It's going to be 3D. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be bringing your jet to life. Why would you not want to be a part of that? You know, I had an amazing, amazing experience as the editor-in-chief of Jet Magazine. It was an absolute honor and pleasure to be at the helm of this publication. And I hope that people are proud of and enjoy the final print issue. It was a labor of love. It was a little bit sad for me because I was leaving to move over to Ebony, but my team pulled together and put together what I think is an amazing, amazing product, and I hope everyone will go pick it up and hold on to it because it's a certain keepsake. And beyond that, I hope they'll continue on with Jet. I hope that just because it's not going to be in your mailbox, your physical mailbox, it won't, you won't have it in your inbox. It's a quick change, and it's worth it's worth taking the leap of faith, and we need your support. So I certainly hope that everyone that loves Jet will continue to love it. You've been listening to Ready News Review, the podcast with America's independent voice, Rob Ready, presented by Ready Communications Incorporated. For all the pressing news you need to know, log on to www.readynewsreview.com.